hello we are going to see the features of this wonderful gimbal that i have which is called capture 2s from funsnap so i did a unboxing you can see the unboxing and see what's inside the box so this is the actual gimbal which you get so we've got a place here to hold the gimbal um, let's see what else does it have it's got this joystick it's got a power button switch here to uh, start your recording or take a snap there's a wheel to either zoom i think it's for zooming let's see you need to unlock uh, one more thing about this is uh, before you turn it on make sure this is unlocked it gets unlocked like that and you put your phone here without putting your phone i think it also says here um, no mobile phone installed do not turn on the capture 2 so without the phone don't turn it on if you don't if you do that it will it will not calibrate itself properly it needs the weight so let's put on the, the phone which i have is an old motorola c plus which i don't frequently use just for the demo using it so before turning it on it is like this so let's turn on the gimbal wow so once it turns on it balances your phone okay so um, i forgot to fire up the app so let me turn it off and let me fire up the app So this is the app which says capture. You can download this from Google Play. I'll leave a link. So fire it up. And this is the screen you get. So initially when you first fire it up, it'll actually search for the um, gimbal which connects via Bluetooth. Um, if it is already paired, I don't know, let's see how do I connect it. Bluetooth not connected. Um, home. Yeah, Can you put on home. Let's put, it, put this on the gimbal. And let's turn on the gimbal. Oops. Oops. has a pretty good grip so you be assured that your phone is not going to fall off the gimbal right so now yeah so let's turn it on All right so this is what happens when you turn on the gimbal without unlocking it so this is locked you need to unlock it and turn it on just need a little bit of push so it's gone back but the home button yeah, it searched and it connected so my bluetooth is connected right now as you can see and it's in the uh, movie mode it shows different modes here on the battery it's the home button that's the gallery this is the focus, face tracking, object tracking, and couples mode. Different settings for your camera. Click on that. Uh, you can change the settings of the gimbal, and this will be your gallery. You can change um, the camera, front or, front or back. And let's talk about the modes so once this is fired up you can use this joystick to turn the camera right so left and right up and down <clears throat> right so now 
let's talk about the modes so this LED here shows the mode M here and right now we are in F mode so it's like a gimbal uh, the usual gimbal I mean it will give you a steady shot and if you want to change there's another mode called FPV mode so when you click the power button once the mode changes and it goes to FPV mode in this mode what happens is it um, you can get a smooth uh, focus on a different objects here as you can see you can move you can move the camera and it won't focus on an object let's put it back to the F mode right so another way of doing that is to lock to lock a, a subject what you can do here is you can put it here and press this trigger here and if you press that trigger it says locked so it will be locked onto the subject see that's another mode release it and there's one more mode which starts blinking over here I'm not sure what it's called right so in this mode you can the it doesn't work the gimbal doesn't work so you can freely move the camera wherever you want to get to that mode what you have to do is press and hold the trigger it will go to that mode and it says phone go that's the mode it's in and it has all the usual functions you can turn the gimbal left and right tilt it up and down Cool. Focus lock. It's pre locked. Because you have to be very careful with your camera. Now you angle it. Release. And you can use this button to take a picture double click changes the front and back camera press and hold it will switch to the movie mode and it's capturing press it again it stops press and hold get out of the movie mode pretty good and let's talk about the zoom here so there's a wheel here so using that you can zoom in or out and this also works as a button using if you press this once as you can see I'm not using this joystick here I can use this wheel to pan and tilt the camera up and down press it again Zoom gets activated. So that concludes the functions of this awesome gimbal that we have here. Thank you for watching.